Hey everyone, this is Elon from Eggard Watch Company. I know we're a watch company, but I also like talking about firearms and I wanna go over something very uh, important today. And a lot of people avoid doing this, is, which is going to the gun range because they have gun range anxiety. They haven't been to a range before and they wanna appear like they know how to conduct themselves. So I'm gonna go everything over everything you need to know from A to Z going into the range from the time you walk into the door to the time you're shooting the firearm. So you're gonna need a couple things before you go to the gun range. You're gonna need some kind of ear protection and eye protection. What I use for eye protection is literally my glasses that I use for eyesight problems, which are totally fine. Any gun range will accept them. If you don't have eyesight problems, you could use regular goggles or clear glasses that just protect your eyes. For ear protection, you could use either little nubs that you put in your ear or muffs. And these, uh, these both work great. Right? I actually use both. I like to really protect my ears. I already have some bad hearing. So I put in the nubs and then I double up with earmuffs on top of it. Choice is completely yours. Guns are loud, especially when you're indoors. Okay, moving on. So you come into the range. You have your firearm, you have your ammo. Um, you walk up to the range. They're gonna go over the range rules with you. Now there's two rules that are paramount to gun safety at a gun range and pretty much anywhere. Okay, so these two rules are kind of the universal rules of gun safety. And as long as you follow these rules, there will be no accident at the range. First, I'd like to show you the gun is clear. I checked it. There's nothing in the magazine. Okay, so this is a clear gun. Now, what you want to know is that rule number one is trigger discipline. This is the single most important thing about using a firearm. If my finger is not on the trigger, it cannot shoot. So when you're in the range, the only time your finger should touch this trigger is when you're ready to shoot at the target. At no point other than that, from the point you pick it up to the point you to the time you point it at the target, should your finger touch the trigger. Okay, there's no reason before this point for my finger to come onto the trigger. So that's rule number one, okay? Rule number two, which is also super important, is never point the gun anywhere at anything that you don't want to destroy. In the context of a range, it is at your target, which if there was a wall here and a wall here because I'm in the range, my gun, when it's on the table, is kept pointed down range. When I pick it up, I pick it up, keeping it pointed down range until I turn it and it is still pointed down range. At no point through this experience do I turn the gun, do I lay it down sideways, and this is a very common thing. I see people rest their guns like this, that could shoot the person beside me. Should always be pointed down range. Those are two rules that are very easy to follow. Gun pointed this way, and you should hammer these into your brain. Gun pointed this way, finger not on the trigger until I'm ready to shoot at my target, okay? So those are the two simplest things you can do to avoid any kind of issue at the range. And right away, people will also treat you with a certain level of respect because they'll see that you're honoring the rules of the range. I don't know if they'll treat you with respect, but they won't come running at you, screaming at you. If you do this, this is gonna be a big problem at the range. If you do this, this is gonna be a big problem at the range. Okay, so let's just go over now some of the things that you'll wanna do also just for, out of respect at the range, which are very important too. So you're not in the room yet. You're not in, in your lane yet. You're going, so there's a separation. There's pretty much the front desk where you're gonna take care of everything and then you're gonna go into the actual range where you shoot. There's two doors. And the reason there's two doors is to protect sound. In other words, one of the things that people do is they just quickly walk through both doors. So both doors are open at the same time and you have people shooting inside. That sound will echo through both doors and be heard throughout the entire range, including the areas where people are shooting. So one of the key things that people should respect at a gun range is you open the first door and every range will have two doors. Open the first door, walk in, wait for it to close, and then go into the actual area for shooting. Okay, so don't open both doors and just kind of rush through. Let it close and then go into the second one. Do not take out your firearms before you're actually in your lane to shoot your gun. Another thing, so these are some rules you wanna go over. So you wanna make sure your eyes and ears, your eye protection and ear protection is on before you open that first door. Okay, everything has to be ready to go before you go into that first door. So you're prepared, you're protected, your ears are protected and your eyes are protected. So uh, what we want to do once we're in the range, we, we put our, so let's say I'm here. One of the things I like to do is 
So my magazine is out. I'm going to load my magazine with my ammo. I'm going to actually, anytime I'm done shooting, I let my gun be kept racked back so people could see that there's no ammo in it. This just indicates to everyone this gun is not a direct threat. So when I have a gun laying around, it's not in use. Let's say I have two guns and I'm shooting with another gun over here. I won't leave the gun like this. This just, and I'm not saying this is wrong or right. I just think it's good etiquette because it indicates to people this gun is not a danger. There's already enough for people to worry about it at the range or worry about with gun safety that I just leave it on the side. I let people see inside so I don't leave it down where you can't see into the chamber, into the barrel. I leave it like this and I just let people know, okay, magazine's out. There's no ammo in the magazine. It's open, it's clear, the gun's cleared. Um, that's an important rule. Another thing that's very, very important, and this is probably the last one, is when people rack their gun, in other words, when they grab it to rack it, you see what naturally happens? You see the angle of the gun here? Here, let me just take out the magazine so it just racks properly. So you see what happens as I rack? My gun is being pointed off to the side. This is a very common thing that happens at ranges. What happens is you take the gun, you're pointing it down range, you go to rack it and you do this. Bam. You're now pointing the gun at someone beside you or right near someone beside you, totally offline of being down range. The trick when you're racking a gun in a range, turn your body sideways, rack, push forward. Now the gun remains pointed down range at all times. It's a really simple thing. And also when you pull the gun back to yourself, pull it pointed down range at all times. We retract the gun to your chest so that it's pointed down range. Do not just do this. So those are the two most common things I see people do. I see people rack really bad and I see people retract the gun like this as opposed to to their body pointed down range. I think as long as you do those things, and it's really not a lot, if you follow those two first cardinal rules, which is, again, I will repeat it, pointing the gun down range at all times, including when you do not have it in your possession, and rule number two, which is no finger on the trigger unless you're ready to shoot at the target, you are fine. The other things are these little tips, racking, retracting, making sure both doors are closed. So just listen to this a couple times if you were worried about it. Make sure your protection is on before you go in and just practice safe shooting and really get a lot of time in because that's how you're going to feel most comfortable. Thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe.